Hey guys, this is Shintai, and today I'm going to be doing a demo impressions of Devil May Cry. You all saw this coming, you had to, because you all should know just how much of a fan I am of Devil May Cry. I love this series. This is one of my favorite series growing up. I was in middle school. I still remember getting the first Devil May Cry, first renting it at Blockbuster. And actually, it's kind of a funny story. When I rented it at Blockbuster, they gave me the demo disc. They didn't give me the full game. And I played the crap out of that demo disc before I had to go back and give it back to the Blockbuster and tell them, hey, you gave me the wrong friggin' disc. I remember afterwards getting to rent the real game and I beat it and I was like this this was awesome and even though I had beaten the game I had asked for it as a Christmas present anyways and I had gotten it for Christmas and I played the living crap out of that game loved it it was awesome you know the rest is history I love this series you know I don't like Devil May Cry 2 obviously that's the worst one in the series but you know looking past Devil May Cry 2 which is a festering pile of shit. I love this series. It's a great series. Particularly Devil May Cry 3. It's my favorite game in the series. Now, when I first saw the screenshots and the trailers for this new Devil May Cry, I was like, Ugh, please, why did you do this to me, Capcom? Why? Why did you get the fuckers behind Heavenly Sword? I don't like Heavenly Sword very much. The story and characters were great, and... I really liked the attention to detail in the cutscenes, how they made the uh, the villain a very likable villain, how he was like funny and quirky. He was, you know, I, I, I liked all that stuff, but the combat was nothing special at all. And they added fucking quick time events. Ugh, I fucking hate quick time events. And they were no fun in this game. The combat itself was fine, but there wasn't anything particularly deep about it. And oh my god. God, those fucking cannonball segments, or whenever you had to shoot a, an arrow and it would go in slow motion. Fuck those parts of the game that were not fun. So I was very skeptical about this game. Even though I did like Enslaved a lot more than Heavenly Sword, Enslaved didn't have a really great battle system. It was passable, it was alright, it was decent, but there wasn't anything special about it. What made that game good was, again, the story, characters, and the gameplay itself was fun because there were so many different things going on with the gameplay. You had the action battle system, the combat, then you were, you know, riding around on his board thing, and then you had the platforming segments, and then you had the shooting segments. There were so many different types of gameplay elements being thrown at you, and that's what made that game good, but not really the combat in and of itself. So, again, going into this game, I was just like, oh no, please, don't, don't fuck up the gameplay, because if, if you fuck up the gameplay, you fucked up Devil May Cry, that's it. I mean, I'm already pissed off enough with how, how much I hate his new design. I hate it so much. I still don't like it. I still hate his new design. But, guys, played the demo? Fucking loved it. Well, I guess love is too strong of a word, but I honestly really liked this demo. I'm very surprised with it. And I have newfound hope that this will be a good game. So, let's start step by step. First of all, the visuals in this are great vibrant, it's colorful, especially in the demon world. When they're in the real world, it looks kind of drab and dreary and dull, but in the demon world, it's vibrant and colorful, and, you know, the reason the real world looks that way is because of a stylistic reason. They want to push this uh, idea forward that the real world is kind of, everyone is just living their lives like drones, so the real world is kind of just kind of dull and, you know, don't really want to be there, but the demon world which they call limbo is vibrant and it's colorful because it's wild and there's it's chaos and there's no order so it's a really great contrast so visually it looks great the only thing in terms of visuals i have to complain about was there were a few times where the shadowing effects look like shit particularly on dante's uh face i noticed some really bad pixel pixelation with the shadowing effects i hope that's fixed in the final game if not it's not a big deal but overall, it's a really great looking game. Now, the music I'm a little bit mixed on. Uh, it seems to be a mix between dubstep and like really hard rock. My problem with this is just the simple fact that the rock music doesn't sound as melodic as previous Devil May Cry games. The music itself isn't bad. The dubstep is a little off 
off-putting for me. I don't have anything against dubstep, but it was just a little bit odd to hear something like that in the Double May Cry game. But, eh, not, not a big deal, not that bad. Music stuff was fine. Voice acting seemed pretty solid to me. Don't have any complaints in that area. Well, then again, we didn't really get that much story or cutscenes in this, so it's kind of hard to judge anyways. But speaking of the story and the cutscenes, of what we I've seen, they've changed the lore, which I'm not too happy about that, but eh, it's not a big deal, I suppose. They, I, I understand what they're trying to do because it's supposed to be a different canon. So they want to make it so that you really f feel like this is something different from the older games, which I can respect. But turning Dante's mom into an angel is just a little weird. I don't know. For the, the whole thing about it was the whole point of making Dante half human is that it's because that he's half human that he's able to be so powerful. And turning him into like half angel now is kind of missing that point. But at the same time, I do understand that they, they just wanted to do something different. Virgil this time around is now an ally, which I like. But at the same time, I get some manipulation vibes from him, and I really don't like that. I get the feeling that at some point, Virgil's going to turn around and be like, oh, I'm going to betray you. And I really don't want that, because I actually like that they've done something different with the dichotomy and the relationship between Dante and Virgil. If they were just at each other's throats again, then it'd just be like rehashing what we've seen already, and particularly uh, Devil May Cry 3. I don't want that. I want them to be on the same side for once and to try and work together. I think that sounds really interesting and I want to see that come to fruition in this game. We've always seen them just at each other's throats and to see them work together is really interesting. Now, the most important thing of any Devil May Cry game is the gameplay. And is the gameplay good? Fuck yeah, it is. And I am so happy for it. The gameplay is really a lot of fun. Now, I do have some complaints about the gameplay, particularly in the controls. They, did, they changed a lot of the controls. First of all, there's no more lock-on. And this really threw me off at first. It, it's not necessarily a bad thing, but it, it is something that's a little off-putting if you're a fan of the series. Obviously, if you've never played the other games before, you're not going to notice the difference. But to the fans of the series, this is a little weird to jump into this and be like, okay, you, you, can, you can't lock on anymore. Because of this, Another thing that threw me off was the, the way to use your stinger in this move, which is Dante's signature move, where he glides across the room and stabs an enemy in the fucking face, because he's metal like that. Now, you, and to input it, you have to press forward twice and press triangle, where normally you would hold R1, move in the direction of the enemy, and press triangle. So, having to press forward two times and then press triangle is a little weird. I don't really like having to do something so odd in order to do an attack. So far it's the only attack where you need to do something like that in order to pull it off. There may be others, I don't know. But it's not a big deal. I do like that the stinger is still in the game because that's one of my favorite moves to use. But it's just a it, it's a matter of game feel. It doesn't feel very satisfying to have to do the command in such an awkward fashion in order to pull off the move. It's just it's not something I'm a fan of. Something else that's changed is due to the fact that there is no lock-on. In order to launch enemies in the air, you need to press the circle button instead. Not a big deal. I don't mind it too much. I did find it a little odd at first, but it's not a big deal. Now, the R1 button has always been to use the lock-on, and now instead we use it to dodge. Now, something that else is a little odd is L1 is also to dodge. Now, L1 has always been the double trigger, so if you use the double trigger now, you have to click down on the analog sticks. Which, okay, whatever, it's a little weird again, but not a big deal. Some things that we're very familiar with in Devil May Cry is how to pull off different trees in your combos. You have to pause during your combo in order to then lead into a different combination tree. So if you strike twice, pause a little bit, and then keep striking, Dante will do a completely different combo. I'm glad that they brought this back because I always really like that about Devil May Cry, and hopefully they expand upon it. You can do this with other weapons as well. Which brings me to my next point. The way you use different weapons in this game is more reminiscent to Heavenly Sword, where you have to hold down R2 or L2 in order to use a different weapon. This kind of bugged me at first, and it took me a while to get used to while I was playing the demo, and it will probably still will take me a while to get used to when I'm playing the actual game. Because in the old Devil May Cry games, you simply tapped 
the button, and then that's it. You're just simply using that weapon. But here you have to hold it down. I'm not saying this is good or bad, just different, and will feel odd if you're, you know, used to the old combat system. So, I do like the new weapons, though. You, for the right trigger, they gave us an axe, and for the left trigger, they gave us a scythe, which is really cool. And the, the weapons are fun to use. Another cool thing is that they added something similar to Nero's arm, is... If you hold R2 or L2 and press square, Dante will either drag the enemy towards him or he will drag himself towards the enemy. It does feel very reminiscent to Nero's Devil Bringer, which is nice. I like that. It adds some more depth to the combat system. And it makes it a lot of fun and it's really cool to just swing yourself towards an enemy, start hitting them, swing yourself back to the enemy and start hitting them again. Going back to the Devil Trigger for a second though, I thought that the Devil Trigger was really overpowered in this game because it slows down time as well. However, this doesn't seem to work on the boss. When I tried doing it against the boss, it didn't slow down the boss, but it did make me do more damage and regenerate my health and, you know, all that other good stuff. Now, going back to, again to the weapons for a moment, something that I'm worried about is, are these the only weapons in the game? If they are, I'm hoping we can get a lot of moves for these weapons. If not, that's good. I want to see if there are going to be more weapons Something that I think that they're going to do, and I hope they do, is the R2 button is going to be for devil-type weapons, and the L2 button will be for angel-type weapons. Because that's the impression that I got when I was using these weapons. The axe they use is, like, blood red and, you know, really heavy, while the L2 button, the scythe, was kind of had, like, a bluish hue to it, and it was nice and quick, and you could pull off you know, really quick sweeping combos and stuff. So I think that's that's the impression that I got, and that's what I think is going to happen. Not entirely sure. I think it would be cool if they did it that way. And, you know, not having R2 or L2 held down at all will always be Rebellion, Dante's signature weapon. Yeah, I really enjoyed this demo. I thought it was a lot of fun. I was very skeptical, again, very skeptical going into it at first. And to this day, I still do not like Dante's new design. However... I actually liked his personality in this. I thought it was a really interesting interpretation of Dante. Um, he did say a few things here and there that I didn't really like when he was bragging to uh, the, the, the boss in the demo. He was like, you can call me Dante the Demon Hunter. Um, it's got a nice ring to it. I was like, no, no, it doesn't. You sound like an ass. Shut up. <laughs> but other than that, I do like Dante's personality in this. It it feels Dante-esque, but with a, through a different perspective. I gotta say, I'm really looking forward to this game. It comes out January 15th, and guys, I can't even believe I'm saying all these things because I was hating this game before. I was really hating on this game. I hated the design. I hated that they were doing this to Dante. I hated that they were rebooting it. I was just not happy with the decisions that were being made. But like I said before, the gameplay is the most important thing. If you fuck that up, you fucked up the whole experience. And luckily, it's a lot of fun. And I really enjoyed it. And I can see why Capcom wanted to do this in the first place. And why they asked Ninja Theory. Because they played their games probably and they realized, hey, these guys know how to tell a good story. And... As much as a fan I am of Del May Cry, Del May Cry has never been about the story, and they're trying to inject some of that, and that is very admirable. And from what I can see, the story does seem very interesting. I actually do want to find out what happens next. Anyways, guys, this has been Shintai. I hope you enjoyed these demo impressions. Please don't lynch me for having a different opinion now, because this demo really did change my mind about this game. I am now really looking forward to it. I had a lot of fun with it. Anyways, take it easy, everyone.